Hello. Yesterday, Google launched Nano Banana Pro, their latest AI image generation model. Probably safe to say the best current AI image generation model. I've been playing around with it. We've got it inside ideally. Just want to do a quick video to run you through how this works, what it's good for, and uh, yeah, give you some demonstrations of how to get the most out of it. So uh, Google's Nano Banana Pro is what it's called. So this is an upgrade on Nano Banana, which was their previous uh, best model and arguably like certainly one of the best AI models, especially for uh, interpreting sketches. So I'll just do, uh, let's just do a really quick test first. We'll do a toad you so and a frog on a skateboard as our subject. I'll just choose Nano Banana Pro and let's go for simple t-shirt design and a vintage sunset and a retro t-shirt style and see what it does with that. Now this is a thinking model, which means this is not the first time we've seen this, but it, what it means is that you're not just sending it some instructions and getting back images, but there's actually steps that are going on behind the scenes as the model is thinking about the best way to interpret those instructions and then actually mapping those out and then producing a final design. So that's why it takes a while. It does take a while for these images to be generated that was pretty good first round go for frog on skateboard or well he's not really on the skateboard is he but he's he's with his skateboard um and yeah first impressions on this model in general are it's a big improvement on the previous nano banana one things look less brittle i would say like there was a kind of clip arty cartoony vibe going on previously with nano banana it wasn't as kind of stylized and cool and modern as uh, GPT's one, but I think they've definitely improved it now. Um, and you can see that in the quality of the illustration, color selection. I mean, look at the font choices and the font colors. Um, it's crisper. It doesn't have that kind of uh, chat GPT um, fuzziness, which I quite like in some cases, but it, it certainly doesn't have that uh, here. We've got really crisp, clean graphics. And uh, yeah, generally, it's just a great, great improvement. As you can see, the quality is really good. Um, yeah, it, it it's hard to imagine a better, stronger model out there right now. It just kind of does it all. Now, it does all that because it is a better model. It does all this thinking. It takes longer um, to do all that stuff. Uh, but what it does is, what it's really great at is obviously text interpretation, but also uh, really good positioning and kind of world understanding, uh, world knowledge, so that it knows how to lay things out and make things look pretty nice. So in my experience, really good on that stuff. Other things it can do. So, of course, the really uh, some of the really great stuff around... Um, Nano Banana was how good it was at sketch to design. So you could give it a sketch, uh, upload a sketch and get back a finished piece of art. So here I'm giving it this little, got that log in me, beaver sketch, which I've used before. And we will see how well this does on that sketch. So again, all I'm doing is giving it a sketch, a very rough sketch that I've done. And, I'm, uh, and we're going to get back a finished design from nano banana pro and i think uh you'll see the the ability it was it was good this was the first model really that allowed you to upload a sketch and have it stick pretty closely to that sketch but also kind of embellish it and give good results without like departing from the sketch entirely so here you can see the quality of that i think this is a, a big improvement on the uh, previous ones i've actually done that one uh, here as well exactly the same just uploaded a sketch asked it to go at it and this is what it uh, came out with from that simple sketch so it's really good at that too and then finally uh, like style references so sticking to a particular style if you've got style that you want it to interpret so um, i'm just going to give it this kind of crazy uh, bootleg rap style and let's say we want a uh, let's say we want santa and we want the text to read uh jolly old saint nick and we'll see what it does with this so again this is giving it a reference image which essentially is saying take this image 
use the same style, but change the text, change the subject of it. So this is really good. Uh, Nano Banana, I think, is Nano Banana Pro is a big improvement um, on this as well. So it can actually really do a very faithful job of mimicking a style of an image. And that's obviously great if you've got um, design styles that you want to, that you've done previously and you want to get new versions of those or you want consistency across things. So you can see here the, the quality of that is pretty solid indeed. Um, okay, now I'll show you the sketch thing in a couple of other use cases. Uh, and these are like, obviously inside ideally, you can generate images in a number of different ways. You can upload a sketch, you can upload a reference, you can just go straight uh, into creating an image, or you can use a custom prompt. So you don't have to uh, use any of those. You can just say, you know, I want this, do me this. Uh, so I also tried Nano Banana Pro with uh, a custom prompt here. I just said, create a cross-section T-shirt design of Santa. That's all I said. And this is the result we got back from that one. So it actually added this text in uh, it put in a naughty nice list database, uh, cookie storage department, toy assembly line. Like I'm not saying this is a, a design I would use or anything. I don't think it's it's that good. But the fact that you can just give it like a couple of lines of instruction and kind of immediately get back some ideas that make sense. They may or may not be funny or they may or may not work, but it, it's really good at this multiple text thing. Um, obviously, you can give it more detailed instructions if you want to, but uh, it does all that thinking and it starts breaking stuff up. So we could do something like uh, create a design of Christmas related objects uh, labeled clearly and titled no, let's uh, label clearly and in a art deco style. And we'll see what it does there. So no idea what how it's going to interpret that. I wouldn't know how to interpret that. Um, but I'm just trying to give you some examples off the top of my head as to where this model can do things that previous models couldn't. So it can actually take um, quite a lot of te text and kind of things where I, th I think it's use cases where you want lots of text or you have like different compartments of a design, not just one kind of solid design here. Um, okay. So it, it's not kind of, well, I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> it's obviously done a good job and it's labeled everything, right? It's not exactly what I thought it would do, but I should have given it maybe clear instructions anyway. Um, but yeah, just spitballing a few things here. Uh, I'm sure we'll we'll do some more examples soon on that. Um, but one of the great use cases is this sketch one. So let me just quickly run through this. I was um, trying to come up with some ideas uh, to do like around snowmen or something. So I obviously inside Ideally, we've got the rhyme and replace tool where you can add a word and then it will do a rhyme and replace on that word and bring you back ideas related to that word. So I put in here the word chill. And we got back 198 results, like we chill, rock you, this is not a chill, uh, to chill a mockingbird, and so on. So I was just scrolling through here, and I saw, I don't know if it, oh yeah, here it is, like King of the Chill. I thought that was cool. So I saved that one, and then I've actually done a little sketch of that idea. So I'm going to upload that sketch here. And obviously, I don't have to give... Um, Nano Banana Pro a sketch. I can just ask it, you know, use that idea with a snowman. But I've drawn here, not sure how well you can see this, but it's a snowman with, uh, that's another one I was working on. It's a snowman and he's got like a baseball cap on or he's supposed to. And this is really roughly drawn. You can see how low quality it is. Sunglasses, a little star kind of chain around his neck. So that's all I've given it. Really kind of basic and I thought let's just see what it does with that without giving it any further instructions so a really basic sketch with the text written on you know handwritten on and this is I think where I, I find this model particularly useful where I've got little ideas like that I want to see them come to life I've got the sketch but I don't have you know the final idea 
and here we go. Um, it's got everything bang on, you know, it's got all the details. Okay, okay, it made the hat a different kind of hat than what I had in mind, but that's okay. Um, it's got the chain, the chain is a star, it's correctly interpreted like the arms behind the head. I mean, the positioning is, is exactly what I had in mind. And we can also like edit this so we could say, change the, whoop, change the hat to a baseball cap. And so that's the other thing that Nano Banana Pro is really good at is editing. So you can edit things with incredible precision, even better than previously. You can ask it to change little details. You can ask it to fix the text and things like that. And it has such a good understanding of the whole image that it does a great job around those things as well. So, okay, so it's added a... Uh, baseball cap on backwards with a little crown on which is okay so sometimes i find it does do these it kind of reaches a bit it kind of tries to add in details that maybe you didn't think of uh like on some of these like uh like this one here i didn't ask for the surfboard it decided to add a frog with a surfboard things like that which may or may not be helpful obviously you can take those out or edit as you wish um but let's just do one more sketch thing because i think this is where the uh where the model really shines so uh this is the sketch i'm giving it this time again this was an idea that i got within ideally this joke or phrase frost in the source i should say as well like these mo this model like the new gemini models like chat gpt still not funny still not really capable of coming up with ideas like this off it off, off its own back uh, still comes up with very generic phrases and sayings all the AIs do, which is why, you know, ideally is a much better way of coming up with funny ideas. So let's just give it this one, see what it does off the bat. And then uh, we'll try a couple of different styles because we've got that facility as well. We can ask it to interpret this sketch in different styles so that we can then figure out which one might be best for for what we want to use it for. Um, so as that's thinking, uh, there we go. Oh, he's actually in some like red source, which is not what I had in mind, but I guess that does kind of make sense. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here is let's, uh, let's upload that sketch again. And we will say, uh, make the snowman melting into into the ground maybe just to specify that uh, and then I'm going to select a couple of styles here just kind of basic styles Let's see what it does there okay so um, so yeah that's a that's a case where again it's kind of just kind of reached a little bit beyond what it's obviously kind of looked at the sketch looked at the text and decided this should be kind of merge together in some way and maybe that it should be a snowman going into source instead of what I had in mind which is just like a melting snowman um, so it does make sense but again it's like okay sometimes it's reaching a little bit further than I would like it to you know I don't don't want you to do too much thinking um, that's kind of more what I had in mind so that's really good uh, let's again just compare the original sketch um, yeah, I mean, it, it's incredible the fact that we can go from this sketch to this kind of finished artwork um, matching exactly the positioning and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's really, and obviously we can we can quickly just say, oh, you know, I want I want this sketch in a few different styles and the styles come back, you know, really faithful to the original image and obviously matching different fonts and different approaches um yeah pretty pretty insane and obviously this just went live yesterday this nano banana pro model um i think as we have more time to play around with it there will be new use cases um that this enables which previous models simply weren't able to do so, so yeah, that's Nano Banana Pro live inside, ideally. Just wanted to get this out and show you 
what it can do and how it's a big step up from the previous version, which was already pretty good. Um, if there's bad news about it, it's that it's expensive. So actually this is going to cost, uh, currently going to cost four credits per generation um, for any Nano Banana Pro use. Now, hopefully that will come down in time. That typically is what happens. Uh, when they put it up initially, it was a little bit cheaper, and then it seems like overnight they've actually upped the price of uh, of the model inside Google. So it is four image credits. Uh, still, that allows you to create, I don't know, quite a lot of, <laughs> of uh, images, depending on what ideally plan you're on. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a bit expensive uh, currently. So um, we'll leave it there for today. Hope you got something out of that and, and got some inspiration, some ideas, some use cases for how you can use this new model inside Ideally. Uh, but it's working really well. Uh, you can edit images, you can use reference images, you can add sketches. Uh, yeah, you can obviously do custom prompts and anything here inside Ideally and obviously bulk create really easily as well in different styles and from uh, single ideas as well. So have a play around. Uh, any questions, michael at michaelassic.com and you can find out more at ideally.app as well. Okay, enjoy. See you later. Bye-bye now.